Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a free game that you can get right now over at GOG. GOG honestly been doing a great job. I mean, they don't have like any um, expectation that they should be offering free games, but I just got to give them props that they've been offering free games and they've been offering good stuff. Uh, another free game available right now. We'll talk that and Green Man Gaming. I know I talked about their deals earlier, but they just, after I recorded that video, kicked off their Lunar New Year sale and a lot of great deals available as a part of that. Uh, Want to take a look at some of those deals available at the end of this video. So we'll give a mention to those at the end. But right now, Haven Park is available free over on GOG. So you can go check that out. The game is absolutely free. No you know, bells and whistles, maybe you have to sign up for the, yeah, the only thing you have to do is have a GOG account, and then uh, on the email address through GOG services connected to your GOG account, everything like that, and you can redeem the game for free. Uh, they are also running a sale right now, New Year Sale 2023, a lot of great deals as a part of that, XCOM 2 for 3 bucks, Control Ultimate Edition for 12 Cyberpunk for 30 Horizon for sixteen forty nine. you guys get the idea, a lot of your typical deals that you would see, so go check that out, go check out Haven Park for free, which is a game. Very positive reception, 438 Steam user reviews, 96% positive. So the only thing holding it back from overwhelmingly positive is the fact that it just doesn't have enough reviews. The game notes, B. Flint, who is doing his best to keep his grandma's park up and running, make it a place for the campers to enjoy, learn the campers' wishes, and build whatever their hearts desire to attract even more quirky characters and look forward to whimsical conversations and quests. Kind of a, a cool art style here as well. A charming game, and it is... Uh, available right now free on GOG, typically $9 on Steam, so go check that out. All right, moving on from that, some solid deals as a part of the New Year sale over at Green Man Gaming. First of all, Gotham Knights, 57% off for $25.50. Talked a lot about this game. Had issues on PC at launch. Game had issues itself outside of the technical shortcomings, but there are things to like about this game. I think everybody really dug the story in Gotham Knights. I thought the gameplay was good. Was it Arkham good? Maybe not, but you got four different playable characters. I played through the entirety of the game as Nightwing. I did another playthrough. I started another playthrough, I should say, as Batgirl. Didn't get through the whole thing. A lot of other games came out. You guys know, like, back in October, there was, like, 8 billion games coming out. I plan on going back to the game at some point, but at this point, $25.50, I think, is a solid price for the game. And, uh, yeah, fun open world action adventure game, good story, and replayability with all of the different characters, a lot of side content. Um, you know, I definitely wouldn't recommend it for a full $60, but $25.50, I think at that price point, we are cooking, and, uh, I would say go check it out if you're interested. If you're a DC fan, I'm not a big DC guy, not a big superhero guy in general. My real exposure to superhero, uh, superheroes in general are through video games, Batman, Arkham, Spider-Man, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, Gotham Knights, $25.50, not a bad deal, there. Want to give a shout out to Monster Hunter Rise. The base game is $17.40, and then Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak is 50% off for $34.71. The game did just get added to Xbox Game Pass, so bear that in mind. Um, kind of funny that Monster Hunter Rise drops on Xbox Series and PS5 today, and it's priced at $40, and here on PC, you're getting uh, Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak for $34.71, $5 and change cheaper. I get it. Rise has been out for a little bit on PC. The inverse is true. We're spending $60 on Spider-Man while it's like 10 bucks on PlayStation 4, you know? It is what it is. But Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak, great price here. Obviously, Monster Hunter kind of, uh, you know if you're gonna like it or, uh, like it or not. Um, uh, Monster Hunter has a gameplay loop that's not for everybody, but if you're into the grind, if you're into having, uh, to spend a lot of time in a game, Monster Hunter Rise is absolutely gonna offer you that, and with the Sunbreak expansion, that'll extend the game quite a bit. Do want to give a shout-out to Wolf Among Us for XP members. That is 66% off for $5.10. In my opinion, the best or... 1A, 1B, as far as best Telltale game goes. You guys know that I'm a big sucker for Walking Dead Season 1 as well, but Wolf Among Us is awesome as well. Awesome main character. This came out all the way back in, like, 2013, and we are finally gonna get a follow-up to it. I believe with Wolf Among Us 2, you're gonna be able to jump into it without playing this game. Don't quote me on that, but you should play this game. It's a great game, compelling characters, a lot of mystery in the story. Just really, really enjoyed my time with Wolf Among Us 510. Not the cheapest we've seen it for. I believe we've seen it as low as $374, but a uh, good price for Wolf Among Us. It's a great game, and I would strongly recommend it. $3 and change will get you Mad Max. That's 81% off. Mad Max is a game that, you know, 
unfortunate had the fate of being released the same day as Metal Gear Solid 5, and I think that was the game's undoing. Um, you know, open world games on the same day, which one are people gonna go with? But Mad Max turned out to be a solid game in its own right. Great PC performance on this game as well. Visuals are decent, you're talking about, you know, a barren wasteland given what Mad Max is, but combat is good, story gets good by the end. Um, probably never gonna get a follow-up to this game either, but 385 I think is a solid price for this. And lastly, I do want to give a shout to Uncharted, the Legacy of Thieves Collection, 42% off for $29.04. Still a little pricey for Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection, don't get it twisted, but I recently beat Uncharted 4 on PC, and man, I had such a great time with this game. I just think Uncharted 4 is kind of an underrated game, as crazy as that sounds. Uncharted 4 does not get a lot of love, maybe because it's an early PS4 title, maybe because some people didn't like some of the narrative aspects to the game, but visually the game is gorgeous. The gameplay pacing I think is great, I liked the story. I liked uh, Sam being in the story. I know some of the, like, twists in the game are, like, a little bit jarring. But, like, nonetheless, overall, like, Uncharted, I'm not really looking for, like, the best storytelling in the world. And I still thought the story was decent in Uncharted 4. Gameplay-wise, I just think this game is stellar. And the PC performance is fantastic as well. Go check it out. Um, You know, 2904 is still kind of pricey. But you do get Lost Legacy as well, which is a smaller game, standalone expansion starring Chloe. Um... But definitely worthwhile. I loved Uncharted 4. I played it way back when on the PS4, and I liked it then. But uh, the PC version kind of reminded me how good of a game it was. So definitely give that a look. 2904, not a bad deal there. So that is going to do it for me. Again, Haven Park available free right now over at GOG. GOG rocking a winner, or excuse me, winter sale. New Year sale running right now. Although winter, well, we are in winter. They could do a winter sale. Uh, nonetheless, check out the winter sale. Check out Haven Park for free. And a lot of great deals available right now. Links to everything in the description box below. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.